Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to show everybody how to program a signalman. Uh, it's an intelligent sig signal driver made by railroad circuits. Uh, you may know in a previous video I showed you how to program their SHD2 uh, signal driver. Um, in my situation, the SHD2 actually ended up not working. The instructions on the signalman are a little um, unclear on a couple things, uh, so I'll just show you how to do it. Um, the first thing you're going to do is actually put it on your program track. So I have my little jumper here connected to my program track. Uh, I got my green indication on the board itself. Here's the basics of the signalman. Um, there's a couple things, like I said before, here's your common cathode, common anode uh, switch. So I'm running the Atlas signals. So these are gonna be common cathode for me. Up here is your uh, JP1 jumper. Um, if you're gonna be on NCE, you're gonna want it on jump between pins two and four. And then down here is the uh, DCC or so they call it serial bus. I don't know, but the serial is, is like a Digitrax or an LCC system. Uh, so I'm on DCC, so I'm, I'm doing the bottom two pins. Uh, and then your power plugs are over here. Uh, pins one and three are going to be your input power. And then you can actually jump these to the next one. You can daisy chain them using pins four and six. So make sure you got this all set up. And then we're going to put it on our program track. Once it's hooked up to your program track, you're going to open up Dakota Pro and you're going to program this like a locomotive. So you're going to start a new one. You're going to go to railroad circuits, decoders, and signalmen. And you have to pay attention because this, this is, took me a long time to figure this out. This is very important. Uh, open the programmer. So every one of these signalmen come pre-programmed with an address of 9999. Um, it's a little different than uh, if you're using LIDITs, which use uh, uh, signal addresses. These do not use signal addresses. These are gonna use an address just like a locomotive. So essentially we're gonna program the signalman to uh, locomotive address uh, I think we're gonna do 9991 in, in my case, but it's it's different than an accessory. It's not it's no longer an accessory decoder. Uh, it's it's essentially like a locomotive. Um, so you can open this up, come over here to the signalman tab. Um, the generic uh, long address is already programmed in, uh, and you're going to save this to your roster just as a default signalman. You're not going to use this for programming. You're just going to save this as a as a base because when you program a new loco, you're in service mode on the programming track, and these decoders uh, will only take programming on on the main. So once you have this in, you're going to save it. So in my case, um, I have one saved already. So I'm going to close it out. I'm going to pull up my 9999 signalman default. And you're going to come down here. You're going to select program on the main. And you're going to come up here and select direct. And we're going to hit program. Let it open up. Now, even though I'm on a program track and I'm programming on the main, uh, the only command that we're going to give it on the program track is the actual address. All the other CVs and, and values we're going to program on the layout. So I'll show you that. So we're going to come over here. You're going to select Siglaman, and you're going to now change your address to whatever it is that you want. But remember, it can't be the same as a locomotive. It has to have its own individual unique address. You're gonna make sure master mode is enabled and ops programming mode is enabled. And you're gonna find here, so I, I put in 9991. You're gonna switch over to your CVs tab and CV 17 and 18 is your address. And you're gonna notice it pre-populates, it must be a formula. Uh, so in my case, 
Uh, CV 17 is 231, CV 18 is 7. Once that populates up, you'll see it says edited because we changed it. You're going to write CV 17. You're going to write CV 18. And that is going to program the address of this to now 9991. However, what's important to remember is that it will always take a command as 9999. I'm going to write the address again just so you can see. There's a little yellow indication light that will come on. That's how you know it's taking a command. So watch, you know, CV17 and CV18. See that yellow? That's how you know it's actually taking the command. So once you program the address into your signalman, you want to make sure that you save the signalman with the address as its own file uh, because... Like I said before, this is basically like a like a locomotive now. So it's going to have its own roster entry, and that's how you can program this on the main um, because it has its own unique address, and then you'll make all your changes through Decoder Pro, uh, and I'll show you that in a little bit.